Goodbye green. Goodbye blue. Goodbye red. Goodbye white. Goodbye black. Oh, hello all the colors I just said goodbye to. What, really think, really think rainbow had all the colors in it? You're weird. Rainbow has all the colors in it because that's how rainbow works. It's all the colors. You know, red, blue, yellow, red, pink, red. I know. You know what? It has all the colors. Case closed. Hey there, people of the internet world. It's Kibatu. And welcome back to Let's Play Mario Man 64. Okay, so. Rainbow Palace. Oh, this is going to be a headache if I ever seen or heard of a headache. So, this place here. I said before in Trap Tower that you had to relearn how to navigate with bombs. This place expects you to know how to do that. If you think I'm kidding, just wait till we go beyond the clouds. Oh lord, we're going to have ourselves a fun time here, aren't we? Alright, so this place here. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna pump this bomb up, and I'm gonna throw at him. There we go. There was no reason to do that, but I wanted to do it anyway, so... Y'all can suck on a stick. Alright, so, beyond the clouds here, um, it doesn't necessarily matter how many, uh, not how many, um, it doesn't really necessarily matter how big the explosions are, it just matters if you have enough bombs. Like, we need, like, bomb bombs, like, plenty of bombs. Like, we all eight bombs in that fact, so, yeah, we need eight, we need a total of eight bombs, because we're gonna be using those bombs. And we get them from these platforms right here, but these two here, they have a custom part as well. So, getting some bomb, bomb, some bombs, and, uh, you know, getting some, getting a custom part as well. Point, point, point made! You're getting parts! Eh. There we go. So, should be enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Yeah, eight parts. Uh, eight, eight bombs. We just need eight bombs here. Okay, now, with that said, <clears throat> now we got our first custom part here, but our first gold card is a little more tricky than you think. Mm. Maybe. Maybe not. This... I think the explosion is going to kill me. No. Wow. Wow, I'm lucky. <laughs> wow. That is luck. <laughs> that is luck beyond belief. Okay, so pick the bomb path. Come on. Come on. Come on! Oh my god, really? Okay, okay. Back up. Back up. Just back up. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We're dead. <laughs> well, I was right. We were dead. Ah, oh, those enemies. Okay, before I get too far ahead with this, those enemies that that enemy that just fired an explosion from the sky, that's going to be the bane of your existence. You don't think you wouldn't think so with this kind of with this kind of place, but yeah, that thing, that little club puff right there, he is. Evil incarnate in this place. At least in this place, at least. We won't get to the actual true evil until we get to later. Okay, you're low enough. Come on. You're low enough, then I can do that. I said, you're just low enough. There we go. Yeah, you gotta make sure those guys are out of your way. So, yeah. Okay, so. The other two cards, and the last custom part, um, they're not where you, they're not in an easy spot. Like, that's all I can say as to where they actually are. They are not in very kind spots. Get down. Uh, right, okay, so, to get out of here, you can, 
Blah, 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 blah. To get out of here, you need to come over here, put a few bombs, make a bomb ladder. Just keep going up, all the way up here. Let's press the button. And there you go. That's how you get, um... That's how you clear the stage. How you get to the actual part of the stage that actually matters. Like how you get to the gold carts, whatever. Whatever, I got it. I'm getting back up here. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay, so. Oh, this is gonna be tough. All right. If anything else, if I fail here, right here, um... Come on. Yeah, if I fail here, I can always just fast forward through this, because this stage, this stage can be the, like, the, the absolute worst thing that you can run into. Like... People have rage quit over these stages to get off gold cards. And it's going to show. Okay, so this. Just done just right. Okay, now we're up here. So up here. Get here. So up here. Well, we're in a high spot, so that's nice. And you probably, it probably seems like you're not supposed to be up here, but you are. Now, how do I know this? Well, just wait. Uh, I think I just need to? Yes, okay. Okay. So yeah, get look at this. We're in freaking mid-sky here, and it's just going to get worse. Put that right there. Yeah, okay. So, do, 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 do. Trust me, it's not going to get any better <laughs> than this. Okay, so that's that. Let me put a bomb right there. That looks right. Yeah. Okay, so you know what? Get that out of here. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need that out of the way as while well I'm done here. Okay, so you see that pillar over there? That's our target. Get out of here. But yeah, that uh that platform over there, that's our target for a thing. Um... Yeah, that'll work. Come on, come on, come on. Come on! Oh, don't do this! Don't do this! I am bouncing in air! In the air! I am bouncing in mid-air! How is this fair? Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Um... Oh lord, this stage. Oh lord, this stage. This stage gets so unforgiving. This, it is so, so unforgiving. Okay. Um. I don't know if this will work. I kick that. I don't know if this will work. I don't think so. No, it's not gonna work. Hmm. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> that didn't work at all. Okay, you know what? I'm at zero lives. I'm just gonna go ahead and end this thing. I need to get my remote bombs. Alright, so yeah, you can just see. These cards are kind of ridiculous. Just, just, the, the, you can't explain them any better than that. They're just ridiculous. And this is probably the only stage in the game 
then I recommend that you get at least just one card or one custom part and just call it a day. Just grab it. Yeah, I get one. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna grab the the fight card as well, the card we get using dirty enemies, whatever. I'm just gonna grab that and, just, and I'm just gonna go straight to the end of the stage here. Because, oh my god. <sighs> Jeez. The cards are just kind of silly. But, um, as I said before, I should mention, as I mentioned before, you can just flat out end the stage. Not the bosses, but the stage. You can just flat out get a card or a custom part and just end the stage. As long as you complete the stage, you it, it goes in your records by saying that you completed the stage and you got the gold card. It's just the bosses where you have to get them all at once. So, as I was saying, this is probably the only stage in the game that I would recommend that you just grab one and just go. So anyway, to get to the end of the stage here, the end of the stage is just across this pit here, but there's no clear path. So, we gotta get creative with more bomb jumping. There we go. Yeah, if you, and, oh, Jesus, guy. That, that didn't work. Okay, get out of here. And this guy in the air, just, just the bane of existence. You get out of here, too. Just in the way at this point. Okay, so like I said, we need a charge bomb there. Uh, it's close enough. Is it? No, it's not. Okay. One more time. That ain't, that ain't right. Well, come on. Come on. Too far. But yes, to get across this pit here, you need this charge bomb here. And then. You know what you say there? But then you also need. Oh, come on! It bounced off of nothing! It bounced off of nothing, game. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, two bombs, that's it. Come on. Let's just get across, and that's it. We're done. That's it. So now, let's go back and get the last gold cards and the last custom part. Yeah, okay, so I gotta admit something. This took a little longer than expected because some of the cards, they're kind of ridiculous. They're not as bad once you actually learn how to bomb jump properly. Like, how to, you know, do stuff properly. But still, this is kind of a, a ridiculous thing to ask of your players to do. Like, I'm just saying. Alright, so we'll be back to that other one up there in just a minute here. But for now, let's go ahead and get the other gold card here. So, on top of this little platform here, right next to this little light-up thing, whatever, this little platform that lights up green or whatever, you have to align these bombs just right so that you can pl make a platform going across over there. That's a little too far. That's, that was a little too close, though, so I have to do it again and make sure the super bomb is near the edge. Otherwise, you can't make it. So you just jump across these platforms here, and you're good. So after that, you don't go to the right from here, you go to the left. You put a super bomb right on that purple platform right there. Yeah, you only really need just one bomb on this other platform that goes down, but I like to, I just want to be safe and make two, just so that if anything else, I can just run straight forward and just jump in between them if I have to. Now another thing about this stage here, you have to make sure your bombs are aligned properly and that you yourself are aligned properly as well. Otherwise, you just fall off and just die. All right, so there you go. There's our second gold card. Well, I should say third actually because it's the third one. But the fifth one, the fifth one you just get in time, in a time limit, and that's easy enough to do. So there's that. Now to get back, in case you're on your last life, like I have been for a couple of times, this this took a little while, I'll admit that, this took a little while and I had to make a couple of retries, but if you're on your last life like I was, then about getting back, it's just as much a chore as everything else is. But thankfully, when you realize what you need to do, it's really not all that hard. It's just tedious, it's just a little bit, this, that's another thing about this, it's like, rather than you finding out about it, you finding out how to do it is one thing, that's the only challenge here, but then it just becomes tedious, 
Like, I feel like I'm just wasting time and missing these, knowing that this is all I have to do to get the job done. And that, I, uh, I, I just can't help. It's a bit of an annoying feeling, honestly. It's annoying just to see that this, this kind of thing just keeps happening. Like, this isn't even all that hard. I'll, I'll say this one more time, though, just for the sake of saying it. This isn't all that hard once you realize what you need to do. But when you realize what you need to do is the hard part, then there's a problem. That being said, it's annoying that even though you know what you need to do, you still have to retry it over and over again because something went wrong. Like, certain bombs weren't placed right, like, they were off by just half a, half a freaking pixel, and they're not aligned properly. So, I'm fast forwarding this part here, because I've already shown how to get over it this way and actually get this. So, it's just a matter of facing the right direction, getting the bomb off the platform, but also not in your face, and then just explode it. So, there you go. That's all gold cards, so that's it. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, you see that box just behind us before we left that platform there? That's where the custom part is. And it's def it's not there. It's not the hardest thing, but we'll get that after we're done with this little fiasco of stage and getting the custom parts and confirming that we get the custom parts because like I said, you just want to make sure that you confirm yourself getting the cut the the parts rather than just, you know, the last little bit of stuff, whatever. Yeah, I, I have no idea what I'm talking about, really. I, I, this, this last part of the game kind of drained me, if this wasn't obvious, because, wow, it's just kind of ridiculous. <laughs> oh, well. Alright, well, all we need now at this point is to get the last custom part, and we'll be on our way. Thankfully, that's right at the exit anyway, so that's a good thing. We can just make our way to the exit while grabbing the last piece of stuff here, and then we can move on and... Yeah. Yeah. I I'm sorry, I, I just hate myself for this kind of... This kind of torturous stage here that I have that I accepted into my freaking uh, yeah. Okay, so after coming across this part here, the next custom part, as I shown, was that little platform over there. And to get to it, it takes a couple of super bombs and a couple of regular bombs. And not only that, but you have to make sure the bombs are jumping as well. Well not just jumping, but like they're bouncing in place right now. Thankfully, with this part here, actually, it's almost, it's actually a little easier because you can just knock off the bad bombs right off in case something goes wrong, and you just need to redo it again. Now, this takes, this takes precision. I can't lie about that. This takes pretty good precision. Precision. And a little bit of timing as well. But as long as you're patient enough, as long as you keep going at it, you'll be fine. On top of that, though, once you get on this platform here, just, you know how you have to wiggle yourself to try and get yourself to wake up? Yeah, you can't do that here. I have fallen off so many times just trying to wake myself up. It's kind of ridiculous. So this last bomb here, you're just trying to explode, just walk away, and there you go. I don't know how you survive with a big freaking bomb in your butt like, like that, but I guess it works. So, with that, that is everything. I can do the time trial off screen, and that's it. We're done here. We can move on with our lives and not have to worry about this stage anymore. So, yeah. <sighs> a whole, a whole, a whole freaking mess of stages here, but i shown you how to do it. You got all the gold cards, you got all the custom parts, you're done, and that's it. We're through. You're through with this stage, and you can move on. And you don't even have to hate yourself for it, especially when you find out how you do it. Whew, doggy, that stage. <laughs> that stage alone is pretty... interesting, to say the least, but... not as interesting as the boss. Well, mid-boss, I should say. 
This boss works the same as Black Fortress's boss, where you fight the boss-looking boss first, and then the Bomberman-style boss. Bomberman-style boss being serious, of course, so this makes sense. But... You thought the stage was a hard one? You haven't met... This boss. Welcome. Boy, that's a face only a mother could love. Well, I guess Sirius can love it too, because it's a face that's going to try and kill me. So, there's that. Alright, so, meet the Spellmaster. The Spellmaster here is an interesting boss. Not the hardest boss, but definitely, definitely one to try and be careful with. Alright, so, you can start off immediately with the gold, with the gold card. And that's because one of the gold cards is to defeat him without remote bombs or any other power-ups that he drops. Because he will drop power-ups whenever he feels like it. Try and be nice, whatever. But I guess he, when you take it, it's just his way of saying, Yeah, you cheated. You did a cheap tactic. You, you cheated me out of my win because you weren't trying to beat me with your full potential. And so because you cheated, of course, you have to lose. And that's not the way of doing things right here because I'm a cheapskate. Man, man, man. Yeah, I, it's this, I hate this guy, if it's not clear enough. Alright, so, that's one card. You have to actually, um, not pick up a power-up when he gives you power-ups. So, that's one thing. The next card you get, like we just saw, uh, from his little hand shadow that pops up, you just have to drop a hand, drop a bomb in it. You just have to drop a, a bomb in that shadow of his, so that's another one. Let's see. Third one, and the third one you get from destroying his cape and his mask. Which, that's it. That's his mask right there. And his. Wow, really? Really? I already got him? Cool. Oh, I'm happy. Okay. Shadow. Shadow Dragon, get away. Shadow Dragon, get away. Get away, Shadow Dragon. Okay. Okay, so you see his cape ruin, and you see that his mask is kind of in better shape. So, all we gotta do now is just beat him in the time limit. Oh. Come on. Be nice to me, Spellmaster. Be nice, Spellmaster. Be nice, Spellmaster. Even with all the lag in the world, you can still be nice. One more forget measure. Oh, Spellmaster. Spellmaster. Ugh. You're no master anymore. Phew! Oh, that was, uh, that was pretty exciting. A little more exciting than the stage, than the actual stage. So, yeah, that was, that was a good time. Phew! Okay, that's gonna be a tough one to edit, but I hope this was at least possible to do, go through and enjoy, because, wow, that was a stage. But we're not done yet, as the stage next stage is possibly going to be just as bad, if not possibly worse. But we'll see once we get there, won't we? I'm sure we will. So with that said, this is Kibatu. And I guess until the finale pops up, actually. We're right there, we're just at stage 3 and then the last stage. So we're almost there already. So until next time then, goodbye to you. Laters!